we are just about to get our hands on Thutmose the third in rise of kingdom so today i'm gonna make my predictions on what i think the best commander pairs and talent builds are going to be what's going on guys cheers Thutmose the third is an interesting commander okay he's an archer and support commander and besides a mana Torre, there are no other commanders in the game that have those talent trees but also just look at the new artwork behind him like as a command on the commander screen look at the giant pyramids and the sphinx on the right and all the, the palms and oh my god it looks so beautiful the artwork looks incredible for this new Egyptian civilization and I just had to say it I'm a big fan of the Egypt art okay I grew up I was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid and I'm ready to Exodia obliterate my enemies okay let's just do a quick refresh of the skills for Thutmose the third I put it in quick bullet points because it's faster to read it that way okay he has an active skill with a rage requirement of a thousand it's a three target AoE with a 1000 damage factor and it reduces the healing of the targets that he hits he has 15 percent archer attack and 10 percent archer defense defense is only when he's on the map he also gives archers 10 percent march speed and 15 percent all damage as long as he's off territory for the all damage and he has a 10 percent chance of making a target take 15 percent more skill damage for three seconds with a cooldown and there is a 10 percent chance of dealing 700 damage factor to someone that is attacking him also with an eight second cooldown he also receives 10 percent less counter attack damage and he gains 30 percent increased normal attack damage for three seconds after using an active skill so now that we know exactly what he's doing in the game we can better decide what commanders we want to pair him with and i think most of the commanders that we're going to consider but not all are going to be archer commanders so i did what i do best i made a tier maker and i put some commanders that you might consider and i'll go over each one as to why i think maybe it will be good or why it won't be good of course we have epic commanders then we have first gen legendaries second and third gen legendaries fourth gen legendaries and we've got the most himself just as a little side note I think one of my neighbors in this apartment building has a very small dog that's been barking for a very long time and I personally hope that the dog passes away at this point because it's incredibly annoying ah, I'm just I'm just kidding I'm just <clears throat> totally <clears throat> totally kidding about that the first commander we're going to talk about is Sun Tzu. Now, Sun Tzu, I think, would actually be a really good pairing with the Moza third in the early game. I think later, that's probably not something you're going to consider. But I mean, hey, they both have nice AoE. You would want the Moza the third being the uh, primary commander because he has the archer tree. He gives you a lot of archer stats. Sun Tzu only gives you some infantry health. So technically, he's infantry, but really nobody uses him like that. You'll take 10% less damage with Sun Tzu. And he's also going to boost the skill damage on the Moza, which is something that he needs. And of course, they both have aoe it's, it's a great combination i think again in the early game but late game maybe not so much so let's go ahead and move sun tzu down here you could use him but not really next we have kusunoki and herman and i think both of these commanders are actually pretty underwhelming even as epic commanders uh i mean sun tzu is is solid but these two even though they are archers they're not giving you that many stats i mean kusunoki is but he's not really doing that much he's got an aoe but it's it's damage over time yes he's clearing debuffs but at the end of the day i would rather use the mos with sun tzu than with kusunoki maybe i'm crazy i don't know i don't think he's a serious contender so i'm just gonna drop him right off the list same thing with herman i think herman is actually a little bit worse than uh than kusunogi even uh then we come to kiera and here is interesting because she also has a 1000 damage factor three target uh, aoe which is really nice but she also deals with her expertise extra damage for two seconds afterwards so really similar active skill which is nice she also gives you 20 percent of stats not as much as kusunogi but i think the rest of her kit is a little bit more impressive because she has the 10 percent chance of of an 80 percent skill damage bonus which is you know it's similar to sun tzu skill damage bonus which is nice so at the end of the day uh she's kind of vanilla but you you know she overlaps so much with the most that i think you could use her the only problem is expertise in kira you, you know it just takes so long to expertise her i don't know why they they do though i don't know why they made the decision to do what they did with her i'm gonna put her in the same sort of realm as sun tzu then we have imanip and this is actually a commander that i do think you could use definitely in the early game he just has a really powerful debuff with his active skill he's also gonna make the target take 15 percent extra skill damage and he gives you 30 percent of archer stats so i would say he's actually probably the best uh epic pairing that you could have 
um maybe similar to sun tzu maybe slightly better than him ultimately you guys epic commanders are really only things that you're going to use in like maybe kvk1 and realistically having a, a usable thutmose the third uh in kvk1 it's pretty slim to none unless you are a well and you're using universals on him which i don't think you should be using uh, universals on him uh if it is possible to do so next let's talk about the early game legendary commander starting with Mehmed and I think Mehmed is actually a really solid choice to pair with the most and even in the late game with the relic I think this is going to be a really really good pairing they both have AoE in the open field which is nice you're gaining 20 percent of attack and 20 percent health with Mehmed as the secondary uh totally you're gonna have 25 percent extra skill damage which is gonna be really nice and you're gonna bring 10 percent more troops to the battlefield which is gonna be really good so obviously Mehmed would be the secondary here because you want to use that archer talent tree and we're going to talk about talent builds later in the video so stay tuned for that ultimately i would say that Mehmed is definitely a much better pair than all of the epics next let's take a look at el Cid. now el Cid is you know he's he's the original legendary archer and honestly he has not aged well he wasn't even that great in the early game 1000 damage factor no aoe on here 10% chance to proc an additional 1000 20% of archer defense some March speed which will be good if you're caught in the open field you do have some nice damage going on here and you're gonna deal more damage to infantry an extra 10% of stats and he also has a relic that gives you another 10% of attack and a 150 extra skill damage factor El Cid definitely a worst uh pairing I think than uh than Med next we'll talk about YSG and this is definitely one of the best pairings and I think that that's sort of a no-brainer because you have just such a powerful aoe on ysg and this he's just good with every archer he just he pretty much is good with every archer just because he's just so vanilla he just deals tons of skill damage he gives you the chance for extra rage and a huge archer attack buff and he has a huge skill damage buff which has no prerequisites because of his vanilla nature he is so easy to sort of shoe in anywhere so i think he would be one of the best uh choices for pairing with the most now the thing with uh YSG though is that his yes his relic does give him uh, a little bit of extra skill damage and defense but besides that you know you're gonna have defense with the most on on the map and you'll have the extra taking 10 percent less counter attack damage but realistically you're gonna be a very um glass cannon march the most primary is probably the better option because of the support tree I think the support tree is slightly better than the skill tree in this regard next we have ethel fled and I think that ethel fled is going to be a pretty solid choice uh in the same way that you could do ethel fled YSG it's going to be a huge glass cannon and target in the open field fields but it's definitely a pair that you will have access to and that's not something we can say for a lot of the pairs here so it's definitely worth considering because again both of these commanders have really big aoe plus the huge debuff which is good you're further reducing the counter attack damage that you're taking by 20 percent here and you're going to slow down the target with ethel flood which means you're also going to get the extra 20 percent increased damage which is going to be on top of if you're in enemy territory uh the 15 percent damage you're getting from thutmose and finally if you decide to do mixed troops then you would want ethel fled primary and that'll give you an extra 20 percent attack you might want to consider that with obviously having like 80 percent archers 10 percent calves 10 percent infantry um, that's really going to slow you down and it's not you know it, something to consider there i would say she's probably a better choice than el Cid, but a worse choice than Mehmed. uh pr probably closer to Mehmed than el Cid. next we'll move on to the second and third generation archer commanders starting with edward of woodstock now banana helmet edward is typically not a very favorable commander to invest in just in general so you probably don't have access to him but it's worth noting that if you are getting a thutmos from the gold keys then that means that an edward thutmos rally will be available to you in kvk2 and that begs the question will that be a better rally combination than edward and tamiris now that has to be tested I would be willing to bet that Tamiris is probably better. However, uh, you don't have to win a Mightiest Governor for Tamiris. So that's interesting. And we have to wait and see if there's going to be a relic for Thutmose. Uh, perhaps he will age better than Tamiris as well. So that is something to consider. And with Edward, I would say Edward would have to be primary with Thutmose. And uh, that's obviously just because the damage factor is insane here on Edward and you really want to take advantage of that now it's worth noting that Edward gives you 30 percent of Archer health while on the map and you're on top of that going to get the 25 percent of extra stats 
from Thutmose. And if you're rallying, you're going to get an extra 15% damage on top of the fact that, um, you, your Thutmose has a chance at making the target take 15% more skill damage, which if that hits during Edwards skill shot is going to be really interesting. Now, of course, that's not as big as the poison debuff that Tamiris is applying. And the most isn't going to be dealing as much single target damage as Tamiris when she removes 15 stacks. Regardless, you're trading a slightly less single target damage um, with the most, but you get an AOE. So that could be punishing to the early game noobs who might be standing around the flag. You also get March speed on Edward. So that stacks nicely with the March speed on the most. Plus you actually get the 10% chance of the 700 damage factor on the most, which might actually make up for the difference in single target damage with Tamiris. So it actually is going to be pretty close. I would say between those two. And I think the most would be a very solid secondary for Edward, especially in the early game in the late game probably not so much for Edward I'm gonna say that he was he's probably going to be a very solid uh pairing for the most in the early game as a rally leader after that I would put him probably down here okay so just keep that in mind uh if you're open fielding uh, probably not do that let's just average it out and we'll put him right in the middle of uh of the second slot here next we can talk about Tamiris um I think she's sort of a one trick pony uh, the thing about Tamiris is that you want to unlock her potential with this debuff by pairing her with somebody that's dealing a massive skill damage and honestly the most just doesn't really have it right he has an aoe it's not the best in the game and i think what you're gonna see if you have the most and tamiris which i think the most should be the primary here um there's probably just not enough damage between the two of these guys uh to really just make it worthwhile we're gonna bring her down here probably better than El Cid because El Cid's just that bad now Ramses is going to be a really interesting combination with the most now when it comes to which one should be primary I like the rage engine on the Moses support tree a bit better than the attack tree on Ramses which actually requires you be surrounded to really activate that extra rage regeneration and I don't think that this is a pair that can really uh take a nice surrounding so I don't know if you would want that however if you do use Ramsey's primary then the target will have a 25 percent defense reduction when the most hits with his active skill so that's something to keep in mind I think Ramsey's does have the single target damage that the most is missing and the most has the AOE that Ramsey's is missing so I think this is a solid combination in total you're going to be having a 55 percent archer attack and there's also some extra um proc attack bonuses and defense bonuses for archers here on top of the 10 percent defense you're going to get from Thutmose when you're on the map so overall you'll have a very solid amount of stats between these two commanders Ramses will be benefiting from the 10 percent reduction in counterattack damage you take whereas the Mose will be benefiting uh from the 30 percent skill damage taken a reduction both of them have March speed and both of them I just think have a lot of really good synergy here um especially when it comes to defeating a March that is healing okay this is gonna be very punishing March for uh the healers out there I would put Ramses as one of the best pairings that we can have with the Mose which I think is very fitting because they are both Egyptian commanders and I think that's gonna be really cool to see that in the open field now is he better than YSG that is the question I would say he probably is a better open field uh pairing than YSG it really depends the thing is YSG's AOE is so so good right and it's gonna make the Moses AOE even better with the skill damage however I think uh Ramses is gonna just be able to take damage a little bit better the most and and why she seemed to be just too glass cannony for me which is why I think Ramsey's I mean both of these are top tier choices for the most for sure most of you are going to have YSG so that's something to keep in mind but Ramsey's is probably a better overall choice when it comes to your total trades the next thing you would have to ask yourself is do you have a better pair for Ramsey's because there certainly exists some uh and that's you know something that will probably sway you in one way or another next we're talking about Bay all right we're talking about Artemisia and I think that she is a very good pairing with uh with the most if the most is a commander that you want to use so what I mean by that is that you don't these aren't like a match made in heaven it's just if you want to use the most Artemisia is probably a really good primary commander to use and the reason that I would say her primary is better is because I just really like the defense tree especially in the open field with Artemisia um she has a very powerful AoE here and she does have a slower skill cycle because she silences herself sometimes which is really why you see her mostly with the Matatora these days 
however um the slow skill cycle isn't a huge negative to Thumbos. i mean obviously the more you pop his skill the better but it's not like his skill is like what is is broken about him right it's not like the thing that's insane about him um he's just a very overall i would say a very a generic middle of the line kit across the board now artemisia is very tanky with high aoe damage and the most is giving her a little bit of extra defense but also some extra attack which she has none of and off territory she's going to be getting 15 percent all damage uh, for her AOE, which is just going to be very, very good. And I think that you also take the 10% less counterattack damage, which is going to make Artemis even more tanky than she is before. You also have the 10% chance of the 700 damage factor on the most definitely one of the best pairings, um, for the most, just because her herself is she's just very good and i would say she's probably the best that we've talked about so far um but again anything in this top row is like a solid choice i would say next we're going to talk about the season of conquest commander starting with nebu and this is probably my favorite pair for the most and again it's not because they're a match made in heaven i think it's just because there's really nice synergy there and if you want to use the most nebu is probably uh i would say probably your best choice so far he has a really nice 1500 damage factor for five targets we see 30 percent archer defense which the most definitely needs the extra tankiness as well so this is very nice extra march speed on top of the march speed that the most gives you which is very good we also see here a 15 percent all damage increase which is very very nice because when you're off territory you're going to get another 15 percent all damage increase from the most so i think that that synergy alone 30 percent all damage all the time is just going to be absolutely nuts if you're open fielding again you're adding to the tankiness of nebu which he already has a little bit you're taking 10 percent less counterattack damage and you have a chance of making the target take 15 percent more skill damage which hey that's going to be really good for nebu's aoe so overall i would say nebu is absolutely so far the best choice that we have seen for using the most i think you could probably use either commander as primary i think i'm I, i'm generally leaning more towards the support tree here yeah I, I think either one would be fine next we can talk about cyrus the great and i don't think that this is as good of a pair as nebu you're not dealing as much damage you're causing the target to take more damage for three seconds which is nice you have again the march speed just like nebu does but you're gaining an attack bonus instead which really you need more tankiness for the most and i think that there's some not not great synergy there as well there's a there's a lot of damage over time here with with cyrus and i just don't know if that's what you need for the most um and also cyrus sort of wants a more of a rage engine because he has this this expertise which is actually pretty good it gives him 40 percent of stats for three seconds with extra rage on top of that i mean it, it would be nice every time you use an active skill you get 40 percent of stats 150 rage and 30 percent normal attack damage from the moses expertise so that would be interesting i don't love the pairing but i could definitely see somebody making it work i guess you would want to use cyrus primary for the skill tree to really maximize your rage regeneration because that's where like most of the value is going to come in here i'm going to put cyrus down here okay i would say he's better than all of these commanders um but probably not as good as the other top uh, top tier third and fourth generation commanders we've already talked about next we'll talk about amanatore and i think um similar to cyrus i don't know if there's great synergy here i think amanatore is a very good commander when she's doing what she's best at which is being garrison or is being with uh artemisia um pairing with the most just doesn't seem like the play for me now stacking the bonus damage on her active skill with the bonus damage of being out of territory with the most is interesting but she gives you 40 percent attack but um she doesn't have the tankiness unless she's in the garrison which is why pairing her with artemisia is really nice i don't know i just don't love this pairing in general maybe i'm missing something here maybe there's something you can exploit but i would say it's it's probably like probably about here now Gilgamesh is sort of a beast in his own right um he is very similar I would say in uh in comparison to like Ramses for example where you have a really solid single target damage with a really nice debuff on that active skill obviously this debuff is definitely better than Ramses plus you get 30 percent health here just like you would see on Edward for example so in general I would say the Gilgamesh pairing with Thutmos is probably just a better pairing for open field than Ramses or Edward fourth skill is what's going going to pair nicely with even further damaging marches that are trying to heal in the open field so I would say Gilgamesh probably goes about here 
as far as pairings go definitely one of the best pairings for uh Thutmose. next we can talk about Boudica okay she is almost in the game very very soon she will be here and I think she is just such a good commander that you could really justify pairing her with virtually any other archer legendary and Thutmose is no exception here is he the best pair for Boudica probably not we've got so many good archer commanders that we've already talked about in this video but Boudica herself is so good that you could definitely put a Thutmose behind her and you have a great march you have insane single target damage here increase the skill damage that they will take that way when Thutmose hits them with his sort of puny active skill in comparison at least it'll deal 35 percent more which is nice you're getting a bunch of attack here and you're getting defense under 80 percent which is which is good stuff there you're also getting 10 percent all damage increase with her expertise on top of the 15 percent all damage increase off territory with Thutmose you'll also have a little bit of open field sustain with the healing here as well so I think there's a lot to like about this pairing just because again Boudica is going to be so good in the game I'm going to put her as like probably the best that we've talked about just because her herself is just like the best we've talked about now Henry is a really interesting combination here he does have massive single target damage just like Boudica does he's a little bit more tanky than Boudica which I think actually might be better for the most because he doesn't have much tankiness himself he gets 40 percent of stats with the defense and attack you get extra march speed outside of territory you also get that 10 percent all damage increase which hey that's really nice as well he has that 10 percent chance to pop 800 damage factor and Thutmose has a 10 percent chance to pop a 700 damage factor so both of them in conjunction that's some that's that will add up over time for sure and I also really like the expertise here on Henry because basically when you hit 70 percent rage you're going to deal 30 percent more normal attack damage until you hit your skill shot and then Thutmose's expertise is going to kick in where you get three more seconds of 30 percent more normal attack damage that's a pretty long duration of 30 percent increased normal attack damage and then when the army is less than 70 percent rage you're taking 20 percent less no normal attack damage so i think just in general he's providing a lot of the tankiness that you would want and i would say he's probably as good as Boudica, if not maybe slightly better for the most specifically and that's the list everybody i think the best choices for pairing with the most are going to be in the top row here followed by the second row and then the third row is the sort of the cutoff point i would say for late game anything uh you know past probably uh, Mehmed, honestly um everything like here like you probably shouldn't use late game but you know for kvk two and three perhaps you would be looking at something like this and then these pairs are going to be just like sort of early game or you have nothing else these pairs you probably never want to use okay now as far as talent builds go for the most i really think there's only like one talent build that you would even consider uh and I don't have a commander with the same talent builds uh, to show you so what I'm going to do instead is show you uh sort of two different commanders and you'll just you'll fill in the gaps it'll be pretty straightforward the first thing I would say for the most is just max out the archer tree just that's going to be the best thing you can do put every single point into the archer tree when it comes to the support tree you'll have 26 points that you can put in there however you see fit I would say obviously come up here and grab rejuvenate and you definitely want to grab loose formation uh, whether or not you put your remaining I think you'll have probably about two points left um you could put two points into Alexa if you're planning on pairing uh Thutmose with somebody like Boudica or somebody else who does a little bit of healing otherwise those two points are going to go into the versatility tree which is going to give you half a percent of attack and half a percent of health okay with that being said that's pretty much everything that you need to know about Thutmose the third as far as pairings and talent builds go if you have any questions or comments make sure you put them in the comments section below and if of course there's there's anything that I've missed about Thutmose and a specific pairing that you think might be good let me know down there as well while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace